Once you've downloaded the example, you can run the applications. This example includes four pre-built applications. The first one is the device patient mapping application. This sends out information about which device is monitoring which patient. The second application is actually an application that sends pre-recorded device data. This pre-recorded data was taken from the MDPNP, that's the Medical Device Plug and Play project, which is located at mdpnp.org. This is the recorded data from two different simulated sensor applications, and it has been modified to cause an alarm condition. This replays this data using the RTI replay service application. The third application is the bedside supervisor. This application receives the device patient mapping and the simulated sensor data, and it checks to see if multiple devices for the same patient are showing data that indicates an alarm. In this example, the code is very simple because it is just an example, so it only checks for a pulse that is too high that's coming from multiple devices. The fourth application is the Human Machine Interface, or HMI, that shows when an alarm is active for a patient. So to run these examples, go to the example code directory, and then there's a script for each one of these applications. So starting out, I'm running the patient device app. And it does not matter what order you run these applications in. Next thing I'm going to do is start sending device data. Now notice that when I try to run this, I have to set an environment variable to tell the script where the RTI replay service is installed. So I'm going to set that in an environment variable. Okay, now I'm sending device data, and you'll see here it's initializing the replay service. Now I'm going to start the bedside supervisor application. This is the one that's actually doing the monitoring of this patient data. And then lastly, I'm going to run the HMI. And the HMI here, again, is very, very simple. The idea is just to illustrate a very simple user interface and show how the data can flow between these applications. And here you can see that patient number one has a high pulse rate. So you can see that, first of all, we have alarms that have been sent and updated, and the UI is actually showing which devices are indicating an alarm for the patient. Now, again, this is a really simple example just to illustrate the communication side of things. Of course, a, a real application, once it has this data coming from multiple devices, it can do some very interesting things, such as catching some of these alarm conditions a little bit earlier than you would catch them with an individual device.